Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good evening. Everyone. Good evening to the people of Zambia. Good evening to anyone that is watching me right now. There are many people that we are in doubt that said, see a one will not come live. <coughs> see a one has been bribed. See a one cannot be trusted. I'm here alive. And the downfall of HH is starting now. The downfall of UPND is starting now. If you have just joined the broadcast, share the video let everyone know that surely see one is life i am a snake a dangerous snake i don't just bite i count and give enough time before i bite i have counted I have given enough time, it is time for me to buy it. The downfall of Akain de Chilema begins from tonight. Share the broadcast quickly so that I can start talking. <coughs> In all the group, in all the WhatsApp groups, Facebook groups, on your page, on your account, let the world know that the hour has come. I hear somebody saying, is this really life? This is life, this is CR1. What is today's date? Today's date is Sunday, 28th July. 2024 that is the day that UPND started crumbling that is the day that HH started crumbling that is the, the corruption of community house the corruption of state house the corruption of HH so called special advisors it is today that is starting I told you that when I start, you will not have anywhere to hide. Because if I'm talking from without, if I'm talking from outside as an outsider, then, I mean, it's, it's understandable. But I'm talking from inside as the person that crafted your victory. If you are a wise person after this broadcast, I expect you to resign. I expect you to resign. HH, I expect you to step down as a president. <clears throat> if you refuse to step down after this broadcast, after this exposure, what is coming your way, Eddie Galungu will be better than you. When you step down, we are going to leave you. We are going to forgive you. All the forces, all the people that helped you win election, they are all come together and they are saying you must go down. Share this broadcast right now so that there are people, opposition was busy. I, I read in so many in so many groups. Hey, see one has been bribed. UPND gave him five hundred thousand dollars, so he will not talk. No. No one can bribe me. No one can bribe me. No one has that power to bribe me. 
The reason why there are, I'm going to tell you the reason why I've not talked, then I can proceed. But before that, my condolences to Chip Olopolo, you know, for, <coughs> for what just happened. The truth is that there is no good thing that will happen to the people of Zambia so long as HH is the president. That's why he must go. And the I see a one who make sure that he goes. I know that there is no opposition in Zambia. I am the opposition. And that will make sure that HH goes. He will never have peace. So long as I'm alive, so long as I am the dawn of power. So long as we brought him into power, he will never have peace. There will be never, not good thing will never happen. So I'm so sorry because Shipolopolo, what happened to you? That bad luck is not is not you. You try your best. You can see that there are forces. Since the church took over power, you can see that there are forces that are demanding bad luck. You can see that I mean nothing good is happening in football, weather, agriculture, everything is in a mess. Because we forced him on the people of Zambia. We forced him. We brought him into power with lies, which I'm going to be exposing one after the other. I told you that time for politics has started. Please share, share the share the share the video. Share the video. Let even opposition. I have a word for you tonight. I have a word for you tonight. It's not only HH. If it's about HH, HH is a past tense. HH is going. I swear, it may not even reach 2026. HH will go. Mark my word. I don't just talk. I don't just talk. I don't just talk. It may not even reach 2026. HH will go. It may not reach 2026. HH will go. The opposition, you have to start preparing yourself to take over. As for HH, he has expired. I can, I can, I can, I can, if I was, if it was the time that I was talking with him, if I, it was the time that I was giving him advice, I would advise him to resign. Because what is on the way coming will be so hard. It will be so difficult. So if you love him, tell him to step aside because I am here today for introduction and give you small, small exposure of who HH is. What is doing with uh, Patrick? What is it? I am here to give you small thing. There are many of you that think that HH is an angel. No, ah, that guy. <laughs> you will hear. When you hear, then you will know that you jumped from frying pan to fire, people of Zambia. But I am, I am the one that crafted it. All the lies that we lied to bring him into power, I orchestrated it. I will be showing you evidence of my chat with HH. I'll be showing you evidence so that whatever I say, there are, there are useless press singers. Few press singers. I, I don't want to say all press singers because now many press singers have woken up. They have realized that the church is leading them nowhere. So they have come out. But there are still fools, especially from Southern Province, who think to say, okay, because he's our brother, uh, anything he does is good. No, 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 no. No, I don't even want to talk about tribe here. I will not go tribe because I love Zambia. I love you so much. And sometimes when I write, when I want to fight the government, people are saying, ah, why are you fighting our government? Why are you not fighting Nigeria? Zambia is better. No, it's not about Nigeria and Zambia. Make sure that you are sharing the broadcast. Share the broadcast. People, everyone must hear what I want to say tonight. Now, you must understand that the war between me and UPND is not about the people of Zambia. I love Zambia. My son is a Zambian. And look, anything can happen in Nigeria. My son has two, two homes. He may grow up and say, ah, I don't want to live in Nigeria. I want to go and live in Zambia. That is his home. He, he was born in Zambia. 
In fact, he's from the royal family. He may decide to go. So, he, must he go to a country where a church has looted dry? Must he go to a country where criminals have looted dry? No. So when I fight, I'm not fighting Zambia. I love Zambia. You know, many times, some few people that are ignorant, they start comparing Nigeria to Zambia. They say, ah, but in Nigeria, there is this. But in Nigeria, there is that. It's not about that. You can never compare Zambia to Nigeria. This fight is a fight between myself and the government. And I know that very soon, as the fire begins, because today is just the beginning, I'm going to give exposure today, a few exposure, and I will start. It will be every Sunday until a church is, you will not have peace. I am a parasite. You don't know what parasite is. I will eat a church alive. He will never have peace. I'm going to, nobody is going to watch news. Nobody is going to watch anything in Zambia. And there will be total confusion. Uh, you you say, uh, see, I one has lost influence. You are a fool. See, I one has lost influence. How many minutes are we here? How many people are watching? You, the thing you don't understand psychology and you don't understand politics. But I don't want to go there now. So, the people of Zambia, I love you. From the bottom of my heart, I love you. See, I one love you. See, I one love you. It's not about you. It's about criminal. UPND government is a criminal government. UPND government came to kill, to steal, and to destroy the people of Zambia. And I will not allow that to happen. Because I am the one that crafted what put them into power. That will not happen anywhere. So when I'm fighting a church, I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting Zambia. I am fighting for a better Zambia for my son. I am fighting for a better Zambia for my sons and daughters that are there in Zambia. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So nothing when I, when you see me fighting, please don't put yourself, don't say, hey, see our one is fighting our talking rubbish against our country. You will never hear me in South Zambia. Check all my posts. Even when I was fighting PF, you never hear me in South Zambia. In fact, I am one of the people that promote Zambia. Many people didn't know that a country called Zambia exists until I started talking about Zambia. Especially here in Nigeria. So I can never fight the country that I love. The battle is between me and the UPND government. And if you are wise, don't ever put yourself so unless you are not unless you are in UPND. I know the sacrifices we made. I know how many people. Oh, I, this one now I will keep it now until uh, I finish talking about a church. I know how many things, how many crimes we committed for a church to be president. I know everything that happened. For each other to be president, and I regret being part of it. Because HH, Eddie Galungu is an angel compared to HH. What happened <coughs> in 2021 is that. Please share the video, share the video. You have just joined us now. Share the video, please. Someone is saying hunger is killing us in Zambia. I am responsible. Sometimes I feel like crying. Sometimes I feel like weeping. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like if I can catch a church like this, if I can, because we, we have put people in problems. People believed us. People believed us. People, believe, people talk to say, oh, HH has come. Now we have peace. Now we are going to have uh, uh, crime free. Now there is more crime in Zambia than never before. Let me go straight to the point. Because I don't have much time. Today is introduction. 
let me hit the ground running so i hope you have understand to say this is not between me and zambia this is not between me and tonga people because i have seen that most of the press singers are tongas you you thought you think that sia one is fighting the tongas no 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 i am your son i am your son-in-law my son is from tonga land he has a tonga name if i don't love you i cannot give my son a tonga name i love you so the battle is not between me and the tongas or me and the people of zambia no it's between me and criminals upn the government it's between me and hh it's between me and the minister of agriculture that criminal that H, that conduct of crime of a human being that hh is using to commit so, so many crimes it's between me and patrick Siabasimbi. there are so many of them that i'm going to mention and show you how they are looting your money how they are collecting your money your hard earned money and packing them abroad i'm going to show you with evidence here so that you know that the people you think that mean well for you are criminals they are there to steal to kill and to destroy now when hh won election <coughs> when he was put in power those idiot of you that think that I, I don't i don't talk to hh i was not chatting with hh the first person that hh sent a message to through dr Munu, greeting and saying see i want you are a lion it was me before he even came and thanked the people of zambia the first glory came to me i will prove to you here those of you that think that uh, see one was not talking to hh see one does not know hh i i am i am the one that decided to stop talking to hh i will prove to you i will show you all my chat with hh here so that you know that your pre your president is my number one client that is before i start to show what we did i show you you believe that we showing what we did is the people of them to become a president I am the one that ignore HH. HH doesn't, HH doesn't ignore me. I am the one. The day I realize that the person we have put in power is not a person that we thought, I stop responding to him. I will show you. I, I believe you know his number. You will see for yourself. Those of you that are HH is a born again, HH, HH is a born again where you are you are a fool, you are mad. HH is not born again. <laughs> HH is not born again. Okay, let me start from his ministers. When Sata was in power, because Sata is a man who never tolerated corruption. The man we put in power that we call a uh, savior. <laughs> Please share this broadcast. Share, share quickly. Share. The man we put in power that we call savior, HH. HH came into power. And appointed Sylvia Masebo. Sylvia Masebo is a criminal. Sylvia Masebo is a criminal, not just a capital letter criminal. Now, when Sata was in power, Sata fired Sylvia Masebo, one touch. Sata fired Winter Kabimba, one touch. Do you know why? Because Sata didn't tolerate any corruption. Something is going to shock you now, let me tell you. When they were looking for cheap fuel in Zambia, I received a letter from the Ministry of Energy. By then, the minister was uh, the minister was uh, Christopher Yaluma. I received a letter. That letter says, "See one." help us to go please how is the sound how is the sound how is the sound i i hear somebody saying the broad the the sound is cutting please check if if the sound is okay come back tell me in the, tell me tell me there 
Tell me, is the sound okay? Can I proceed? Can I proceed? Can I proceed? Tell me, somebody mention about the sound. Share the broadcast now, quickly. Share the broadcast. If you have just joined us, share the broadcast immediately. Share the broadcast now. Share the broadcast. Now, I received a letter from the Ministry of Energy to go and bring in somebody that will deliver fuel from Angola to Zambia. Now, you know, yes, the sound is breaking. The sound is breaking. The network is tampered. Of course, they will tamper the network, but don't worry. Uh, how for for how long are they going to tamper the network? This is just the beginning. Today we are testing the microphone. We are testing the microphone. Tell us about the tell us about the sound. So I received a letter from Sata. He said, "Go and bring in somebody that we we deliver oil just from Angola to Zambia." So I went to uh, South Africa. I met the man that will deliver the oil. He's an Angolan. I'm not going to mention his name now because everybody in Zambia, especially in State House, they know him. So I brought him in. And we had the first meeting. Christopher Yaluma was there. He was the minister. The PS uh, Energy was there. And so many people were there. After the meeting, I said to Sata, I said, Sir, now that the meeting is done, I want you to bring a name of your family members because I know that you don't want your name to appear here because you're a politician. You don't want your name to appear here. So give me somebody from your family whose name will appear in the business that will represent your interest. Do you know what Sata told me? Sata said, I am going to cancel this project. I swear. You cannot lie against the dead. Sata say, I this CR1, this project, I am canceling it. I say, why? I mean, what is wrong? Why do you want to cancel the project? He said, I am here to serve my people, not to enrich my family. If you can deliver cheap fuel for us, go ahead. Don't put my family. I don't need anything from there. I I I I, I was shocked. I was shocked. I said to myself, ah, ah, there are people that I was alive now, Zambia would be competing with Angola. If Sata was alive, Zambia would be competing with Angola. Zambia would be competing with South Africa. Because that is a man that loves the people. That's why when I was watching PF dying, when I was watching idiots from UPN, uh, from MMM, Running people like uh, people, all of them went to the PF. I cried. I said, Oh, the legacy of this man is about to be destroyed. And exactly as I said, that is how the legacy was destroyed. Now, coming to, coming to the story of Sylvia Masebo, Sata fired Sylvia Masebo. Do you know why Sata fired Sylvia Masebo? Because he has he had no deals with her. Sata had no deals with any minister. Sata was just all about all about saving the people. Sata was all about loving the people. Sata was all about delivering to the people. This is what I thought that a uh, church was coming to do. Now, a church came into power. The first thing that HH did that made me, I looked at it, I even called him, I even wrote to him to say, ah, uh -huh, this thing is somehow, how do you arrest Faith Musonda, a woman that is keeping 60 something million quarters, a woman that stole, everyone knows that this woman stole, how do you arrest her and let her go like that? Share the broadcast. We are getting there. I want you to follow the background so that you understand where we are going. How do you arrest a criminal and let her go just like that? Why? No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, you will see the type of corruption that I'm going to fight. I said, okay. I started following a church corruption fight. 
it was not going anywhere. When someone steals ordinary, yesterday in court, this uh, this young man was jailed because she was at, uh, this, uh, I don't know, that uh, one, that criminal who was a commander for, or second commander for intercity, that criminal, they jailed him because he was having property worth 11 million and he couldn't explain where he got it from but a woman that stole that stole over 65 million quarter money found in her house today she's walking free no one is disturbing her why because the people that brought that money are hh partners are you following now this is not why we brought in a church we didn't bring in a church to come and start shielding criminals. I'm going there. Satafaya Sylvia Masebo. Sylvia Masebo came to my house in Ibex Hill crying like a baby. In my house at Ibex Hill, the camera, CCTV camera footage is there. Siva Masebo is a criminal. She came crying. Hey, see your one. I'm going to jail. Zawa, I ask her, why did you steal? Why did you steal? See your one, help me. The camera footage is there. I kept for more than four or five times I did the work speaking to the people I even a house in a, in a, in Ibex I was there trying to free her from the case at the end of the day I freed her from our case Sefer Masebo is a criminal she was supposed to be in prison by now I am the one that saved her. The day I removed her from that Zawa case, the way I freed her, the same, the first person that received the message was me. See, one without you, what was I going to do? I have the text message. Let Sylvia Masobe deny. Sylvia Masobe is a criminal. I know her record. Now, HH appointed Sylvia Masebo. I asked myself, hey, are you sure that this man that we have brought in will not be worse than Eddie Galung? A person that was crying in my house. <laughs> See, I, want, see I, want, I don't want to go to jail. That is the person. A pe she was made a, as, is it a tourism minister, a very small portfolio. She managed to steal million. You carry her and took her to health. A, a criminal that was stealing one one naira. You carry her and put her where she can steal billion. What do you expect? She went into Ministry of Health. And that is now where HH. I was saying, HH, what is wrong with you? Is this the same HH? that we know or what has I, who who which this guy <laughs> is this a church or who who is who is he living in this guy because there is no way this guy can even appoint savior Masebo. number one she's not influencer at uh, the at the mobilizing mobilizing chairperson election, why did she mobilize? Let her go live today. As far as I'm concerned, as far as everybody's concerned, the 2021 election was won on social media. There was no public gathering. And who did the biggest campaign? It means me. I did it. I am the one that did the biggest campaign. Because I am the one that gathered over 30,000 people to watch me speak. A church in his history has never gathered even 5,000. He can't gather 10,000. I did it. And at the at, uh, 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 chairman of mobilization, is that why you gave her that, uh, that, uh, po that portfolio? Okay, it's fine. Maybe she has changed, or maybe she will change. She went now. She became. She was a criminal. Now she's an armed robber. She's an armed robber. They are tampering the network. I can see. 
They are tampering the network because they have seen that CR1 is, 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 is not somebody you can play. You, you say CR1 has finished. 13,000 people are watching me right now. Who in Zambia, who, which political figure in Zambia can pull this number? I am the biggest opposition. I am the problem of a church. And I am going to bring a church down. It shall, it shall, it shall fall. When you fall, go to the The number of not like how many people are watching? 13,000 people have not even started the first broadcast. First broadcast. Because I'd like to make a you know, see one, see one. I'm not idiot to see one, see one. How many people are watching? Let's just go live now and do campaign. Let's see how many people are watching. I am sitting on power. I don't aspire. Many of you are see one has expired. No one will listen to him. No one will listen to me. 13,000 people are watching me. This is just the beginning of it. I am the opposition. And I am the one that will bring it down. No one else. Because I am the one that put it there. I did the biggest campaign for him. I did all the spiritual work for him. We did all the sacrifices together. I am coming. Forget... You know, let me not go there. So, he appointed Masebo and said, be the minister of, uh, what do you call it, health. Now, she's an umdrubber. She's now looting in billions. And you ask yourself, why is it that upon all this scandal that this woman has committed, why is it that she cannot be fired? Do you know why she cannot be fired? Because HH is involved. Whatever crime and illegal deed that is going on there, HH is involved. Whatever crime, illegal deed that is going on on the Ministry of Agriculture, HH is involved. That's why I love Satan. Satan never involved himself in all these things. Satan was a man that he was contemplated with what he has. He never run a task. He was not fired. Now let me show you that the HH HH can never fight corruption. HH actually is a papa of corruption. I want to show you something from here. I want to show you number one evidence as we proceed. Shut the broadcast. Shut the broadcast. Shut the broadcast quickly. Shut the broadcast quickly. I want to show you something here. <clears throat> so that those of you that still believe that HH has come to fight corruption for you, you should you should just <laughs> forget it. <laughs> HH is a papa corruption. Papa corruption can never fight corruption. Forget it. Now we came we came with the, the story of Simpson. Uh, yeah, that the church is not going to fire her, even if she's a criminal. So, that one, number one, put it aside. The reason why church will not fire her is because a church got a card using a young man called Patrick. That is, I'm coming for that one now. Somebody said, talk about JJ Banda. JJ Banda, this is the reason why I said the opposition is not serious. The opposition is stupid. If I'm just looking at you as the opposition, I will not even come and fight a church. You are, you, are, you are a bunch of stupid people. So don't even talk about yourself. J.J. Banda, two days before they adopted him, he was adopted. They adopted him. I called him. I told him, come to Nigeria. I'm going to show you my chat with him. I said, come to Nigeria. These guys want to adopt you. This guy want to put you in jail. It's better you come to Nigeria here and fight from here. I will give you accommodation. I told him, come. He didn't come. Just like other opposition. Eddie Galung, Fred Membe. These are not serious people. I just want to bring H down for free, not because of these people. This group of people are not serious people. 
But I don't want to be provoked. I don't even want to talk about those guys. Let me concentrate on what I'm doing. Don't ask me about opposition again. Those guys are not serious. Now, this guy called uh, uh, the former minister of uh, former minister of foreign affairs, Stanley Kakobo, sold a mine. Stanley Kakobo sold a mine to a Chinese. To a Chinese. Look at it. Look at it. He sold a mine to the Chinese. This is their agreement. You can read, you can even take screenshot and read it later. That is their agreement there. Okay. Now, in return, the Chinese man bought him this car. It's the wife that drives this car now. The wife of Stanley is the one that drives this car. This is the registration RASA paper for this car. When I tell you that I will, I will destroy UPND, there is details. When I come to the dealing of HH and Patrick and others, that's when you know that Zambia is finished. You will just be crying. You will just be, you just start crying for yourself. Okay. Now, after selling this mine to this Chinese guy, this was the day. This was how payment was done. Stanley Kaku. The so-called the angel, the angel for the angel for UPND angel for what do you call it? UPND angel for Foreign Affairs. After the agreement and he became a minister, he now started extorting the people that he stole from, the people that he sold the land, asking for more money, bring more money, bring more money, because he has power. Those people didn't have money again. He, he sold the mine to another person. I mean, in, if HH was serious with corruption, by now, Stanley Kakubu would have been in jail. But do you know what happened? When the story came out, they, don't, they didn't know that we have all this information. The information that I have here about UPND. <laughs> you just be following so that you'll be knowing that the press singers, are, are, you, you start feeling sorry for the remaining. But anyway, I know within a few days now, I will, be, I will be able to manage to convert millions of press singers. I will bring them back to their senses. As, as you are watching now, there are over 13,000 people that are watching. Many of them are press singers. They will come back to their senses. We are the ones that brainwash them. We are the ones that will unbrainwash them. Kakubo, when he was, uh, this story came out. Do you know what HH did? HH called him and said, just step down. How can a leader just step down? If, if somebody from PF, if somebody from opposition, if somebody, if a Benba person or somebody from Eastern just open mouth and say, HH, he will be arrested. He will be arrested. The Bemba, I mean, Tonga people are good people. Uh, I mean, I've dealt with so many of them. They are, they are welcoming. They love people. But you see, HH, there is something that Kenneth Kaunda said. When that thing came out, I knew that it was true. But I wanted to punish Edigalungu. I wanted Edigalungu out of power. That is why I decided to fight. If not, I knew that HH is just Ponka. 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 Nothing. 
When this story came out, HH called him and said, My dear, resign. Just step down. He resigned. Do you know what happened? That guy is not in jail today. No one is following him. He's is is okay and actually he has gone to the acc they have cleared him he's an innocent person now kakubo stanley a criminal when i'm done with you now i will go to jito then i'll come to a church these are the type of people that you call your leaders imagine if this crime was committed if this crime was committed by an opposition every government they are criminals in every government they are criminals but you cannot compare the criminality of hh to the criminality of Eddie Galungu. you cannot you cannot compare the criminality of UPND to PF. PF was a group of poor thieves, poor criminals. Somebody like Bowman Losambo. When I was in Zambia, Bowman Losambo was all over the street. Bowman Losambo was a, a street boy. He didn't have any money. Bowman Losambo was a. <laughs> Bowman Losambo was just. I mean nothing he didn't have anything he was a chola boy pf made him a minister he became a minister so when you pick somebody from the street who has never had a million dollar in his hand before if he steals something like uh if he steals something like a million dollar to him it's, it's big money he will make a lot of noise that's why it looked like there was a lot of corruption in pf there was no much corruption I know how PF we are making money. I know how their cadres we are making money because I was with them before we disappeared, before we became enemies. Do you know what you are? In PF, when they give you a contract, they will tell you to say, "This is the cost of this contract. As you make your money, return ten percent to our boss. Bring ten percent to the party." That is why PF, when they were in power, their party was having a lot of money. When you hear Deputy SG, Mumbipiri, there was money, they had money, they sat on millions because anyone that won contract brought a little bit into the party. Money was circulating. When they attend barrier, people will eat, people will celebrate. If you see them on the road, they are very neat and they are very clean. In PF, they were sharing. They were sharing. When there is a contact, they share the contact among their cadres. Somebody like Master Tungu, somebody like John they will they share it. They, I mean, people from the street want to see that you are the Akada, you suffer for the party, they'll give you one contract. That's how they were making the money. They were not, they were not like there was nowhere you, you they saw billions and they stole the billions. No, that is how the money was circulating. And all the things that they were stealing one, one naira, two, two naira, nothing. Now we have seen thieves. Thieves, when they finish looting, hey. <laughs> the thieves that swallowed Black Mountain, Black Mountain was swallowed within a space of less than a year in office. Black Mountain that MMD could not finish. PF, after being seven years in power, could not finish it. UPND came into power within two months. <laughs> They swallow it. <laughs> they swallow it. <laughs> you are looking for Black Mountain. The minister of Copper Belt. Don't you see that he's pregnant? That is the Black Mountain is there inside his stomach. The minister's mind, Kabuswe. That one that is looking like a madman today. 
black mountain is in his is in his tummy. When Etet came into power, he said, "The youths, how capable to use? I attack Black Mountain." Liar! Wufi, <laughs> liar! <laughs> Take Black Mountain. Within two months, the entire Black Mountain was swallowed. Look at the stomachs. <laughs> He's, you are crying. Where is a black mountain? It's inside the church. His stomach. It's inside the uh, 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 what is his name? Uh, uh, Kabusue. It's inside that criminal you call Copper Belt. That is why 2026, by the time they are leaving power, even before them, they will die in jail. I will make sure that that happens. They swallowed the Black Mountain. Criminals. Government of criminals. Government of thieves. Government of criminals. Government of thieves. You are you don't know who Sia One is. I thought you said Sia One has finished. How many people are watching? <laughs> I am the dawn of power, psychologically sound. Youths that brought you into power, where are they? What have you done for them? In PF, they were sharing with the youths. The youths were driving good cars. The youths were enjoying. The youths were celebrating. The youths were dealing, going at least going to Black Mountain and so on to collect. Now, within few days, you play the wish. Everything has gone. It's in people's stomach. Few individuals. Not as if it's circulating. I wish what they are looting is circulating. Let the Akadas eat. If you look at the Akadas, you can see that there is extreme poverty. Extreme poverty. If you go to UPND Secretariat, you can cry. It looks like a it looks like a funeral. Party power. Why? Because everyone is a criminal. And not just being a criminal, they are greedy. Whatever they store, few people pocket it in their stomach. Boom. <laughs> but in PF, they were giving everybody, youths, take, take. The only problem that you that PF and Dedi Galungu made was Kadarism. Kadarism. Apart from Kadarism, nothing else. Those guys were okay. And another problem they made was to declare war with me, like I've declared with you, PN. It doesn't go well. I've never lost a battle. I'm telling you, ah, there is no opposition in Zambia. There is no. <laughs> By the time I joined UPND, UPND was finished already. They are uh, 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 SG, Mr. Charles Kakoma resigned. Uh, Chamin resigned. Many of them resigned because they didn't see hope in UPND. I came in. And today they are in power. Today they are in power. So it's not all about opposition. After this broadcast, I'm going to have a meeting with all the opposition leaders. I'm going to call them. We are going to come together. Even if we decide to present Mulio Keda to, compare, to, to compete with HH, he will win. Because we shall do the campaign. Who else? Those people that you put to talk about CR1. And uh, CR1. And uh, CR1. There is no Godfather. Sake. 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 There is no Godfather. How does that concern you? That is my belief. It's my spiritual belief. If I touch the. It's just a, I'm still coming to the side of HH. I've not touched his own. I've not touched the community house. He knows. Once I've, to, I've talked about Patrick Siabasimbi, HH know that I'm holding him here. And I'm going to bring out document to prove to you that, guys, you are finished. PF was better thieves, better criminals. 
Because you know what was happening? Whatever they stole, they were spending in the country. These ones are international criminals and useless criminals. Whatever they stole is leaving the country. Anything they steal, pack on the jet outside the country. Anything they steal outside the country. Anything they steal outside the country. Fake report says that over 13 billion has left the country. Over 13 billion, no, oh, over 13 billion. Hey, for the first time in the history of Zambia, over 13 billion has left the country. Over. Meaning, this is the PF was better because when they stole. They were investing in the country. They were eating in the country. At least people were eating with them. People were investing with them. These ones, they are cursed. They are cursed. Akaso. 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 They are cursed. They have billions. They want nice clothes. They have billions. They will not eat proper food. They have billions. They will not drive proper car. They are cursed. They are dirty in nature. All the billions they steal from Zambia, they take it abroad. They are not using it. Other people are using it to their country. Other people are using it to develop their country. Other people are using it to develop their country. Why people are suffering in Zambia? Now I'm going. I will show you how HH moved that money. Please don't call me, don't call me, don't call me. Now, please tell me if you hear me, if the network is beginning to shake. It's beginning to shake. So, now, this is between them and PF. We are poor criminals. And whatever they stole, they were excited. These guys are cursed criminals. Whatever they stole is going outside the country. It's going outside the country. It's go from community house. I'll show you. <laughs> uh, see, I want. They thought you were finished. Yes, they, they they thought I was finished. One of them said, "If see, I want to go live, you will not even have up to five five thousand people." Are you mad? I am the dawn of power. I am the dawn of power. I decide today. I mean, look at the amount of people that are, by the time this video gets to three days, more than 10 million people will watch this video. How many people are in Zambia? That's how we campaign for HH. No one listening to radio again. No one actually watch television again. Everyone is on Facebook. Everyone is on Facebook. And who is the engineer on Facebook? Who who is the master? It's me, no one else. That is why, as we proceed, the opposition, I have declared war today. And my war is that HH must go. Many of you, we are afraid. I don't want to because I'm not here for you. I love you now. I want us to work together. We started working together already. But I don't know, you, you became afraid. Ah, if we put hand on paper now, uh, see, I want to use it against us. Are you mad? In politics, you need fools like us. Uh, because the people that vote are fools. Educated people don't vote. Uh, uh, intelligent people don't vote. We are the ones that do politics. We know how to talk to the voters. We know how to manipulate the results. Which we did for Aka in the HLM. But that's a story for another day. Opposition. I'm giving you between this week that we are entering. This week that we are entering. I want to see you here. I want to see you here. Let's sit down. And make an agreement. You think I'm fighting for you without an agreement? No. I I HH is the one that told me to say, go ahead and fight. The fight started fighting. It's 
he just woke up. Ah, come on. Many of us here who know God, they have bribed him. No one who is who bribed me. When I tell you that it's so far for you, it's so far. This week that we are entering, let them come here. Let us sit down and start campaign. There is no time at all. With that, I, 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 I sat with, I sat with, with them. I mean, I was leading the war front for the opposition. All of a sudden, they became afraid. See, I want to betray us. Who will betray you? Did I, did I betray you, PND? I'm tired of you, PND. The people of Zambia are tired of you, PND. They are tired of corruption of HH. Now they want change. And let me tell you, without me, you will not get that change. The evidence is here. You, who will go live here today? Eddie Galungu, Fred Membe, who will go live and gather over 13 meter, over 14,000 Zambians in one broadcast, first broadcast. By the time we are progressing and getting to, towards the election, we'll be having 100,000 people watching. The first broadcast I did against PF, it was only 2,000 people that watched. So you can't take it from me. If this week I don't see you here, remove me. I'm out. I'm out. I will not, you will never hear me talk about politics. And without me, HH will put all of you in jail. And actually, you can't talk from Zambia. If you talk from Zambia, they will put you in jail. But I am the one that will put a church where he belongs. It's only me. No one else can do it. No one else can do it. So don't be fools. Don't be stupid. Don't think that I see a one is a fool. I can just wake up and start fighting a church without agreement. No. You must put hand on paper. So that tomorrow if you deny to say see a one didn't help us, like you PND is denying, I will have evidence to prove to people that I helped you. That you put hand on paper. If you are not too, if you are not serious, then you must do things on your own. I am here for you from the bottom of my heart. When you came here, I accepted you. On the phone call chat, I accepted you. If you think that see one will betray you at the end, where is my reputation? I am addressing over 13, 14,000 people at the same time. They are watching me. Where is my integrity if I decide to support you and turn around and support you, PND? Without me, you, you are not going anywhere. Without me, you will not win election. That one is guaranteed. You can try it and see if it will work. It will not work. I am the orator of the election. So remove fear from yourself. And by the way, politics is a dirty game. It's a game of risk. You must take risk. You must take risk. Not when they tell you, ah, see, a one is an uh, is, uh, in-law to a church. See, a one is a uh, brother to a church. See, a one, because see, a one is uh, related to a church. And then you say, ah, I cannot. You are a fool. Politics is business. A church can be my, my brother. A church can be anything. But so long as he, he decided to do what he's not supposed to do, he will go. He will go. I've given HH enough time. I gave him enough time before I came public to make declaration that HH is going. I'm going to share with you some idiots that say, ah, see, I want it's a nobody. I, I will share with you the reason why I was not fighting. The other time I wanted to come live. I didn't come live. Many of you, especially the opposition, that was something that we agreed. Ah, see, a one is a betrayer. He can't be trusted. Number one, the reason why I didn't go live. One, my young brother was in Zambia, King Jagaban. He was in Zambia, and because I, I, the state, I, I have been dealing with the state. They are aware that my brother was there. And I know that if I decide to fight them, they may hurt my brother. That is number one. Number two, 
the government sent a representative to come here for dialogue and we are dialoguing number three the opposition came before the government and we agree on what must be done then went and started behaving like a woman in a in a labor room that doesn't know that if he's giving birth to a boy or a girl what do you want me to do the opposition is not serious government is willing to, to negotiate my young brother is there what do you want me to do i sat down and listened to the government that night that i was supposed to go live i was at the hotel with government people the people that they sent here and whatever we agreed on was not done before they came it was first the opposition that came whatever we agreed on was not done what do you want me to do am i a fool that i go and start fighting the government just like the one i'm doing now this is the last time that you hear me fight this government if the opposition is not serious you must come in agreement i am a big guy i am the number one campaigner you can see it with evidence number does not lie how many people are watching i am a big guy if you come convert all the people that are watching me fourteen thousand people you carry them to put them at woodland stadium can woodland stadium ac accommodate them woodland stadium can only take five thousand to three thousand people but over 13 14 thousand people turned in and watching me at the same time meaning i'm the largest campaigner so if you want to deal with me don't just call me on phone say i want to go life go life your father or your mother go life to do what this one i did is because i have decided on my own to bring down a church but if the opposition is not serious you must go to hell a church must do to you what he wants remove fear let us fight and remove him if you put fear it will not happen and this takes me to the the the, the chiefs so, uh, uh, Luapula chiefs Eastern province chiefs uh, 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 Northern chiefs You are saboteurs You are cowards You are I don't want to insult you so much But learn something from the Tonga chiefs Tonga chiefs support their subjects the problem with you members is you like quick money you like quick money if government give you one naira you pocket it they buy you with one naira that's why they are building toilet for you calling them palaces toilet there is one they are building in chongwe toilet that's what they are calling palace i looked at it i wanted to cry toilets hey jesus christ of nazareth toilets that's what the the upnd government is building for the kings and they are calling them palaces and you accept it because you are cowards you are chiefs of northern chiefs of uh, 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 you are cowards i'm telling you to take this from one you cannot stand up for your subjects when HH was arrested while he was in opposition, the southern chiefs did not rest. Chief Mukini was going to prison to go and sleep, to go and make noise. Because his subject is in the prison. His subject is in the prison. Chief Monse was fighting every blessed day to have HH removed from prison your subjects are being taken to prison like chicken and you are just seated and doing nothing why are you chiefs do you know the reason why you are called chiefs it's because you have traditional powers a president is supposed to bow for you they are arresting your children jj is now in prison i don't feel pity for him because i told him to come he, re he refused i think he was i think he was afraid I think he was afraid. 
I said, come. It is time. The time is now. It is now. It's a prison. And the chiefs, the chiefs are watching. You cannot go and make noise. A church will not do anything to you. Remove fear from yourself. Be like Chief Mukuni. Many of you are admiring Chief Mukuni today. Chief Mukuni now is a billionaire. He's making deals with the government. If he tells you this land is my own today, you will not do anything because it's now in government. And you are admiring him. Many of you are attending his tradition uninvited. You are worshipping them. Why? Because they are united. And they are not cowards. They are not cowards. They are willing to stand up for their children. The chief of JJ, your boy has been in prison without justice. And you are seated. What are you doing on that throne? What are you doing on that throne? Stand up. Go and fight for your subject. Go and ask a church to release your subjects. Now they have they have nullified the seats for another of your subjects. You are seated. What are you doing on that thing that you call palace? If you cannot stand up, be like Chief Mukuni. Be a warrior. You can never eat if you didn't plant. You can never win. If you didn't fight, rise up and fight. Rise up and fight. Fight for your people. Fight for your children. Say enough is enough. Tell a church enough is enough. You are not doing anything. You are just relaxed. I'm a chief. What are you chiefing for? That's why people don't respect chiefs in Zambia. They don't respect you, especially chiefs from Eastern Province. Mpe, uh, Chief Mpezeni, is it Mpezeni or what? What are you doing there? Chiefs from uh, Luapula, what are you doing? Can't you see what? You don't want to be like Chief Mukuni. When PF was in power, Chief Mukuni feared no one. Arrest a church, he will go there. Arrest me and a church, he will fight for a church in prison there. What are you doing? Why do you call yourself chiefs and, and doing nothing? What, who are you afraid of? What is going to happen to you? You are a chief. Nothing is going to happen to you. Arise and defend your people. Arise and defend your people. I have laid a foundation. Foundation of war. You are here and you want to talk to Siawan. Please remember there are so many scammers that are using my name to scam people. Don't fall victim of scammer. You want to talk to see you need any help. You need money. I am the don of power of miracle money. If you are not following my page, follow it now so that you'll be seeing what is happening. Politics has started. Fire has started. War has started. If you have not followed this page, follow it. You want any help. You want money. You want marriage. You want any help at all? You want promotion? Send me a message on WhatsApp. My number is there on the screen. Look at it. It's written. Do you want to have a chat with C1? A direct chat with C1? The number is there, but I'm trying to see if I can put it again for you. The number is there. Is I pinned it there. You see, do you want to have a direct chat with Sia? What is the first comment that you are going to see, see there? Kindly WhatsApp Sia One to this number plus two three four eight one four nine nine three nine four eight four. That is my WhatsApp number. Send me a message. When you send me a message, go straight to the point. As you know that thousands of people are millions of people are sending me messages. Don't go and start saying, see a one, how are you? I will not answer. See a one, how are you doing? I will not answer. Go straight to the point. Say, see a one, I need money. See a one, I need this. See a one, I need this. I will tell you what you what you need to do. When you do it, I will perform what you want. On WhatsApp. Yes, the number is there. And this is the only number that I have. 
those people that are scamming you in Zambia using my name, I don't know them. Send your message, I will read your message, and I will come back to you. I have laid the foundation of war, the foundation of fight, the foundation to bring down a church. And thousands of people have turned in tonight. I want to say, may God bless you. Now, next Sunday, is another broadcast. There is a man called Patrick Siambasimbi. That guy is the one that HH uses to do a lot and a lot of deals. I have I have all these deals. This is just one. There are too many. The opposition please take my words very very serious you cannot win election without me i need to see you here if i don't see you here i promise you will never hear from me again even if a church want let him roast you you will never hear picking from me we must come in agreement before we start fight two cannot work together unless they agree someone said chisenga chama say be going live every day sunday is far of course we are getting there i just came to lay foundation and to tell you the people that you call angel how corrupt they are then you are going to be seen now <laughs> i'm coming to share with you this sunday 9 p.m again Remember, if you have not loved this, like this page or follow this page, you don't know what you are missing. War has started. Politics has started. We did it in 2021. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.